Hi, it's Phil Stone, and we're going to talk about Google RSS Reader. It's a great tool for internet marketing. And by the way, you'll find more tools and tips marketing on the internet at powerlinetraining.com. Have you ever found a great article in a blog on the internet and thought to yourself, wow, I have to remember this site and come back to learn more? Well, you can remember it by bookmarking it, or you can add it to your favorites. But if you see one of these icons, like you do here, right there, on my blog, powerlinetraining.com, you can actually subscribe to it. RSS stands for Real Simple Syndication, and it's a simple way to keep in touch with websites featuring RSS. All you do is look for that icon. Once you see that, all you need is a way to read the RSS feed. And there are a number of trusted sources, but I use Google Reader. Why? I trust Google, and it's free and simple to set up. Just go to www.google.com forward slash reader and this dialog box will open up and you can either sign in or you can create an account. Creating a, an account there is, is incredibly simple. You just click on this button right here and this dialog box opens up and you just put in your current email address. It doesn't have to be a Gmail. Whatever your email address is fine. Then pick a password, re-enter it, and then go to the bottom of the screen. Put in your location, your birthday and you have to verify that you're not some bot on the internet. You have to be a real person, so you have to be able to read that word, whatever word they give you, and type it into that little box. Then you have to agree to their terms of service. Of course, you can read that whole thing, or you can just go right to the bottom like I typically do, and click, click on I accept, and bang, you've created your account. So when I go to my address bar, right below that, there's an icon now. It says Google Reader, and all I have to do is Click on the icon, and this dialog box opens up. And look at this. All the sites I subscribe to are listed right here. And anytime I want to add another, I just click Add a Subscription right up at the top, right there. Simple. And the dialog box opens up. I just type in the URL of the site I want to add, and it gets added to my subscriptions list. If I want to see what's new on any of my favorite blogs, I just click on the name in my subscriptions list and the newest post pops right up. As you can see, setting up an RSS feed account with Google, is, Google Reader is really simple and it makes it easy for me and it will make it easy for you to stay organized and keep up with all that happens on the internet. And by the way, if you like this video, do me a favor, share it with other people. Let them benefit as well. And when you set up your own Google Reader account, subscribe to my blog, powerlinetraining.com. It's where you'll find me, Phil Stone. I'll be there with more tips and tools on marketing on the Internet. Thanks for stopping by.